Your five-year-old computer is so slow, but you are not tempted to buy a new one yet. What can you do? Today, we are learning about SSD that can refresh your lagging PC. Until the 2000s, hard disk drive or HDD was usually used as the storage device for PCs. You might have heard something spinning when you turn on your PC at home. This is none other than the sound of the platter on your HDD revving up. Like an LP vinyl record, a magnetic disc spins with a high speed to process data. This spinning causes high power consumption and generates a fair bit of heat as well. But there is a semiconductor that overcomes the limitations of HDDs. It is a solid state drive, or SSD. SSD is a high speed storage device made with semiconductors. It stores data in a semiconductor memory digitally. Since SSD doesn't use a motor, which means no noise, cool operation, and less power consumption, and it has the incomparably fast data read-write speeds, SSD is small, light, strong, and fast. What is the secret of this next-generation massive storage device? SSD can be seen as a computing system, just like a PC, which consists of a CPU, memory, and storage device, SSD consists of a controller, which performs the role similar to the CPU in a PC, NAND flash for data storage, and DRAM, which functions as cache memory. Ample storage capacity and a fast speed are thanks to the NAND flash and controller. If the NAND flash in the SSD is the library that stores books, the controller, which is the librarian, is in charge of arranging the books. NAND flash increases data integration to allow for high-capacity SSD, and the controller reads and writes data and corrects errors quickly for enhanced SSD performance. SSD can improve your computer in no time. How can we choose an SSD that's perfect for you? Here's a little guide for selecting an SSD. Before buying an SSD, what do we have to think about first? It is the NAND flash, which is in charge of data storage. The NAND flash is divided into four types, depending on how data is stored – SLC, MLC, TLC, and QLC. In news articles or specifications of products, you can see terms like QLC SSD or TLC SSD. How are they different? Let's think of data as a person and the cell that stores data as a studio where the person lives. For a single-level cell, or SLC, there is one person per room. A multi-level cell, or MLC, has two people. A triple-level cell, or TLC, has three people. And a quadruple-level cell, QLC, has four people. You would prefer to live in a studio alone rather than sharing it with several people. Similarly, the lower the bits that are stored per cell, the less data to sort out and the higher the speed. Therefore, SLC is the fastest, and as the level goes up to MLC and TLC, the speed gets slower. However, remember that the price increases as speed increases, and there are other things to consider to help find the correct SSD for you. You need to check the product specifications, including an SSD's interface, speed, and capacity. Consider what you do with it and take a look at its reading and writing speed. If you are using Windows OS, you should check the random reading writing speed. Since files are saved in various places in Windows or Android OS, the random reading speed is important. If you want to save large files like movies, you should look at the continuous reading writing speed because continuous reading is required while continuously calling a large file. Today, we learned about large storage device SSD and how to find the SSD that's perfect for you. In summary, 1. Check the specification of the SSD that suits your purpose. 2. Compromise between capacity and price. 3. Check the speed. Now, you're probably ready to choose an SSD. Stay tuned for more useful and fun knowledge about semiconductors. If today's video was helpful, please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications.